Scientists had previously thought that Pluto started out as a ball of rock and ice. The ocean beneath its surface formed as heat from the dwarf planet's radioactive core melted the ice. But some scientists think Pluto started out as a hot world. Here is what you need to know. New research suggests Pluto started out with a subsurface ocean that has been slowly freezing over time. The findings are based on an analysis of pictures of Pluto's surface taken by NASA's New Horizons mission. These show extensive ridges and troughs consistent with the planet expanding as its ocean froze. Pluto is thought to possess a liquid ocean beneath a thin icy surface and a mantle of watery ice, according to the paper which was published in the journal Nature Geoscience. The study suggests the heat energy that allowed for a liquid ocean came from rocks colliding with and raining down on Pluto as the planet formed. Heat may also have been generated by radioactive elements in the rocks. The research suggests other big Kuiper Belt objects, the largest of which are Pluto, Eric, Haumea and Makemake, may also have once held liquid oceans on their surfaces. Why is this important? It means that Pluto may be more capable of supporting alien life than we had previously thought. Pluto may no longer be a planet astronomically, but it remains of significant interest to scientists. NASA has commissioned Southwest Research Institute to study the possibility and the cost of a long-term Pluto orbiter mission. According to a press release from the Research Institute, NASA and Southwest Research Institute aim to send an unmanned spacecraft to study Pluto and two other Kuiper Belt objects for a total of two years. For the mission, the Institute will work to develop a new spacecraft with a new payload design. According to the press release, the spacecraft would have a larger payload than the New Horizons space probe and carry more advanced instruments. The press release didn't detail which exact instruments the space probe could potentially carry. The Institute previously led NASA's New Horizon mission, in which the New Horizons space probe was able to fly past Pluto and its five moons and reach Kuiper Belt Object 2014 MU69, also known as Ultima Thule, the farthest object visited till date. According to Fizz.org, the spacecraft captured high-resolution images of Pluto but wasn't able to enter Pluto's orbit as it was traveling fast at 50,700 km per hour. Researchers will deliver their results to the National Academy Planetary Decadal Study in 2020. New research provides evidence of an ocean buried in Pluto that's kept from freezing by an insulating layer. According to CNN, observations made by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft in 2015 on Pluto's ellipsoidal basin Sputnik Planitia have led scientists to believe an ocean exists beneath the planet's icy surface. Pluto is roughly 4.6 billion years old and isn't in the vicinity of a gas giant that could heat it using tidal forces. Its ocean should have frozen millions of years ago, but evidence suggests it has not. A new study published in Nature Geoscience suggests an insulating layer of gas hydrates, which are ice-like solids that form when gas bubbles, in this case methane, are trapped between frozen water molecules. Computer simulations conducted by the researchers show the ocean hardly freezes with a gas hydrate layer present. Without the hydrate layer, however, the subsurface ocean would have frozen completely hundreds of millions of years ago. The theory might also explain the unique composition of Pluto's atmosphere, which is rich in nitrogen but poor in methane. Researchers say that if gas hydrate insulating layers could indeed keep subsurface oceans from freezing, there may be more oceans in the universe than previously thought. Pluto's cold heart gives warm winds, lovely nitrogen-methane winds. According to a study in the Journal of Geophysical Research Planets, Pluto's frozen heart of nitrogen ice may be the main driver of the dwarf planet's winds. Pluto's heart-shaped Tombaugh Regio is a vast structure made of nitrogen ice, and its left lobe Sputnik Planitia contains 1,000 kilometers of ice sheet within its 5-kilometer basin. Fizz.org reports that the study's authors used data from NASA's New Horizon mission in 2015 to construct a weather model for Pluto. During the day, a thin layer of the frozen nitrogen evaporates in relative heat. At night, the gas condenses and returns to icy form. The sequence pumps nitrogen wind through Pluto's atmosphere like rhythmic heartbeats. 
As nitrogen in Tombo Reggio vaporizes in the north and freezes into ice in the south, the process triggers a westerly wind. Citing the study's authors, Fizz.org says this behavior is unique in the entire solar system, with perhaps the exception of Neptune's moon Triton. The study's other discovery is that Sputnik Planitia's high cliffs trap winds within the basin before releasing the strengthened currents to the west. The atmospheric movement is similar to certain wind patterns on Earth, such as the Kuroshio in eastern Asia. Scientists may have found proof of liquid water being spewed out of Pluto's volcanoes. According to a study published in Science Advances, ammonia was found on Pluto's surface. This has led scientists to believe that the dwarf planet's volcanoes may have recently erupted with liquid water. Scientists found evidence of ammonia in areas where tectonic activity had previously taken place. They discovered this by analyzing data from NASA's New Horizons probe, which flew by Pluto in 2015. According to the researchers, ammonia was mixed in with water from Pluto's underground ocean. Subsequently, liquid water erupted through cracks and vents. Space.com reports that scientists are calling this cryovolcanism. Lead author of the study, Cristina Daleore, told the website that radioactive heat from Pluto's ores caused the planet's interior to be warmer than its surface. This allows the ammonia to be liquid despite Pluto's frigid temperatures. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.